how this ring is made. It's like a ring on top of a ring. But it's all, it's just one ring. There's not a ring stuck in here. That Pierdo is pretty. And then, looks like I have some Peridot earrings. Very pretty Peridot earrings. And they're marked on the back, I believe, 925. Yes, that's what it says. Hopefully that's what they are. Was this marked? Yes, this ring is Mark 925 right in here. I didn't see any other markings. And then here's a little Pierdo bracelet. So the birthday girl for August is all set. It's got a toggle class. It's got rings, earrings, and a bracelet. And we have this pretty pearl, and these are stones. I mean, everything is very cold. Even this is very cold. I have not a clue what it is. Perido Prenite. Prenite. So this may be the prey knot, huh? That's P-R-E-H-N-I-T-E. -E, so I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is pearl. These are um, pearls. Freshwater pearls. I'm not sure what these are, but they are beautiful. Cold as ice. And these are more freshwater pearls. Very pretty. So a lobster claw class with an extender, and the extender has this pretty bead at the end. A bead and a pearl. That's a pretty necklace. Very pretty. And then here's Peridot pearl and grayish color pearl. Cream and gray pearl from Peridot. And it's on a toggle class. Beautiful Peridot jewelry. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff up and we'll open something else up in just a minute. Okay, this is the next box we're going to open. And it's also from Goodwill, but I think it may be shoes. I do get shoes from Goodwill sometimes. In fact, I get Goodwill from shoes, shoes from Goodwill a lot. And the last video series I showed a pair of vans I bought so um, I've got a pair of coat shoes I wear all the time that I got from Goodwill and a pair of Old Navy shoes that I love to wear I mean I've worn them so much I went and bought um, padded soles to put in them because I'd worn them out walking and um, Dr. Scholl's foot pads, and they work, and so I can, because the shoe looks fine on the outside, it's just, it's not, the shoes wear out on the inside, quicker than they wear out on the outside. This one's gonna say, oh no, not another pair of shoes. Alrighty. And yes, these are a pair of coat shoes. I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not. I hope I will. Let's see. I spent 
$25 for these shoes. I have no idea how much coat shoes cost regularly because I've never looked at them and I've never bought any other than from Goodwill. So, you know, when you work hard for your money, you want to get the best deal possible. It's uh, funny how my kids bought, kids, even grandkids bought me from shopping Goodwill till they all got married and realized the value of a dollar and how hard it was to earn it. So, yeah, we're all, we all do it now. I'd just rather save my money for going to Universal and, and Helen, Georgia and cruises and going to see my sister and taking my grandkids on trips and keeping my swimming pool running and those are the kind of things I like to spend my money on. I like to save my money so I can spend money on those things. It's in a coach box. That's hopeful. They look nice. I mean, this box looks nice. Oh, Lord of mercy, don't tell me these are brand new. Guys, look at this. No, they're not brand new. They look hardly worn. Look at the inside. Now I'm going to pray that they feel good. They're called olive. They look gray and gray to me. Gray and black. I don't know if they're fake. They don't look fake. The stitching's nice on them. I'm a new pair of shoes on. Woohoo. Oh, yeah, these are nice. Oh, they feel marvelous. So, yeah, there's my new pair of shoes. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how much coaches cost regularly, so I should look it up and see. These look like they may have been uh, Storage shoe try-ons or something. I don't know because it's just not anywhere on the inside. Ooh, I can't wait to show my husband these. I like those. Men's shoes are very expensive. That was my coat shoes. They came in the box. Look at the little hole in the box. I don't know what that's for. I don't see any prices. But I'm real thrilled. we have gotten those. Let's see. What's next? Here's another Goodwill. Bye. Here's my scissors. Sorry, guys. I need some muscle. That's my problem. Never good at opening boxes. 
<laughs> when my husband sees me trying to open up, he'll come running over there and whip out his knife and cut that thing open for me. But he's gone to bed tonight. I had all these boxes stacked on the table. I told him they were my building blocks. They were my toys. Okay, this was a pretty large size box. It's like a large uh, flat rate box, maybe a little bigger. And uh, it had this one little package in it, in that big old box. So, what I do is I cut off the corner like that. And I get my scissors right up under there because I'm always afraid I'm going to cut something. Get it going. But sometimes people pack things right to the brim trying to save your postage and you got to be careful when you open it. Alright. Inside this bag is another bag. This is a good wheel packing now. They did a good job on this one. Again, I'm going to cut off the corner. I'm going to stick my scissors in there. And stay at the top. I don't cut anything. And now we get to whatever I bought. And there is no receipt. I can't tell you how much I paid for this until I look it up. This looks like a rhinestone lot. We're going to call it that. Here's the first piece. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's the back. And it's a little bent. Other than that, it's in great shape. It's beautiful. It's got so much sparkle. And then there's this brooch. Here's the back side, underside of it. It's this dome shape the pearl on top. I think he's back pretty nice. Which I'm glad with rhinestones because they'll you have to make sure you keep them packed up well. that out easy. Here's some clip-on earrings. All the rhinestones are there. You have one that's darkened there and one on that end that's darkened. Now if you get all four ends to darken you'd think they're just gray per uh, smoky rhinestones. Here's the back. Those are pretty. I wouldn't much worry about those darkened areas. These are shoe clips. I guess. And a teardrop shape. Rhinestones. And then there's these clip-on earrings. And then these rhinestones are screw backs. There's no signature on the back.
Princeton's are a little smoky in the color. They just may need cleaning, I don't know. And then here's another screw back. There's two of them. Just wanted you to see the back. And there you go. Those are pretty. And just this one. There's two rings. And they're rhinestone rings. There's one. Desperately needs cleaning. And then here's the other one. Another rhinestone costume ring. This one doesn't appear to be, oh yeah, it is adjustable. It's awesome like it might have some writing on the inside. Patent pending is what it says in here. Patent pending. They've come a long way in making rings. But I still think those are pretty. That needs to be shaped. Somebody's kind of There we go. And that's for me. We have some more rhinestone pieces. Boy, I got lucky on this lot. Look at this. How beautiful is that? It's got a safety chain. It's a fold over clasp. A little baguette on the top of it. I don't see any missing stones. That's a beautiful one. Ooh, yeah, I like that one. Yippee ki yay. Okay, what's next? This one. Triple row of rhinestones. It's got a box clasp. You've got a rhinestone missing here. And they just have the metal piece here. It's just clamped down to open it. Like that. And the, now I don't know if any of this is sterling or anything. I guess I could check. That clasp is not. I mean, it's not magnetic until you get over here. Well, those are. that's magnetic. And what's in the bigger one? A honker. It's like angel wings. I hope there's no rhinestones missing. 
They're darkened on the end here. Got your box clasp. And it's got your safety clasp. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Simply elegant. Just beautiful. Glamour. That is glamour. Okay, and the back side of it looks like that. It's in very good shape. No tarnish at all. Let's see. Not magnetic. That could be silver. Oh, that is. Little bit not this not this backing and look how beautiful it is it's like butterfly wings or angel wings I just love that very pretty okay that was that lot well guys I'm gonna call this a night and I'll be back with more openings from the either individuals or Shop Goodwill. And I um, appreciate you staying with me and watching me uh, open these up. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoy it. And um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments if you have any questions. If you've already subscribed, I want to thank you for subscribing and any of the comments you've made in the past. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next openings. Have a blessed evening. Bye.